Hey guys, before we get into this video, I just want to let you know if you haven't seen it already, I have posted a full apartment tour over on my lifestyle channel, which is linked beneath this video. So if you haven't seen it yet, please go check it out. Please go subscribe to that channel and help support us over there. It's time to change the cat calendar and see what adorableness October will bring. Cute. And the cuteness does not end there because today's DIY is pretty freaking adorable. We are making a hamster sized people bed. Yeah, that's right. Now this is intended to be decorative more than anything else. I cannot guarantee that your hamster will use this as an actual bed, but it will still look so incredibly cute in your hamster's cage. And the supplies you need for this DIY will be up on screen now, so as usual, make sure you have everything and we'll get started. First up, grab your two pieces of balsa wood and place them on a surface standing on their sides like this. Take your lolly sticks and cut off the rounded ends. Then adding a bit of glue to each end of them, glue them in between the two pieces of balsa wood. You want to do this all the way down those pieces so you end up with a kind of a laddery look like this. This is going to be the base of the bed where the mattress and the pillows and the blankets and all that stuff goes. So you need to make sure it is fully dried before moving on to the next step. Once it has dried fully, you can take that frame and your larger piece of pine wood, which is going to be the headboard, and you can glue those two pieces together. Now, you're not going to glue this right on the bottom. You want to glue it just a couple of millimeters up off the ground. You also want to make sure that the frame is facing the same way up as I have it here, with the lolly stick slats running along the bottom and the two pieces of balsa wood facing upwards. Once again, leave this to dry fully, and once it has, you can take the smaller piece of pine wood, which is going to be the footboard, and you can do the same thing, gluing that onto the other end of the frame. With everything dried, that is the basic bed frame complete, and if you want to, you can leave it exactly like this, or you could personalize it a bit more by painting it with Pet Safe paint, or you can add just some extra little bits onto it like I'm doing. Now I'm taking some more lolly sticks, which I have cut down, and I'm gluing them onto the footboard just to create a kind of panelling effect. I also glued two more pieces of balsa wood to the top of the headboard and footboard just to give it a more finished look. Now that the frame's finished, we can move on to making the mattress and the bedding. Now this is very, very easy. To make the mattress, you want to take two pieces of the same coloured material that are the same size and lie one on top of the other. Then you want to stitch all the way around the outside, leaving a small gap in the bottom. Once you've stitched it up, cut away any excess material from around the edges. Then use the hole that you left in the bottom to turn the whole thing inside out. This is just going to help to hide those stitches and make everything look a lot neater. Then you want to take your sand and very, very carefully pour it in through that hole to fill up the mattress. Now, I would suggest using a funnel of some kind for this. You can make a funnel out of paper or if you have one in your kitchen, simply use that. It will make things a lot easier. Once you've filled it about three quarters of the way with sand, you can stitch that hole closed to stop any of it falling out. And that is your mattress finished. To make pillows for the bed, you follow these exact same steps, but using smaller pieces of fabric. To make the bed sheet that goes on top, it's a very similar process again. You just want to take the two pieces of fabric that are the same size, stitch around the outside, leaving a small hole in the bottom, then cut away the excess fabric and turn the whole thing inside out to hide the stitching. Since you're not going to be filling this with anything, you can just go ahead and stitch that hole closed. Now one extra thing that I like to do that you don't have to if you don't want to, I just like the way it looks, is to add a line of stitching a couple of millimeters in from the edge of the bed sheet. And that's all of the DIYing complete and you can start putting everything together. So start by taking the mattress and spreading out the sand that's inside it, then just place that inside your bed frame. Then you want to place the pillow on top and the bed sheet on top of that. And now you have a really adorable hamster sized people bed. 
You can change and personalize the look of this bed in whatever way you want to suit whatever theme you are going for. You can change the material you use for the bedding, you could add two pillows instead of one, you can change the color of the bed frame, you can do whatever you want. There's so many different possibilities, so you know, let your imagination run wild. So there we go, another slightly silly but very cute DIY for your pet. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up. You can also share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye!